doing some work. So when we first bought this boat, it, you remember video one, episode one, was us cutting back the insulation off of these steel bits here because as you can see there we've started to fix the battens. There's already battens that it comes with but for some reason the bottom of the boat is, doesn't have battens on. Not haven't quite figured out why yet. Um, but the reason that we have taken such a long time to line the boat which basically means putting wood up on the walls is because we need to be sure that there's not going to be any moisture that gets through so basically when it's obviously warm in the boat this is cold and when the warmth hits the cold it creates condensation and that's what this is look so it's rusted and it's all started dripping down and you can see this is where our tv was you can see it's all started to go into the wood on the floor. So that's a prime example. But here's the key. The boat comes insulated already, so spray foam insulated, this is the yellow stuff, but there are gaps. So if you look under there, we need to insulate all under there. It looks like blood. Because the underside of this is still metal. So we need dust and lampers dripping down. So we need to make sure that there is no air that can get to the metal anywhere. Um, we've had it in every room. So actually, where we put some wood up in the girls' bedroom, we've already had to take take the wood down and get some insulation underneath. And it's mainly like you can see under here. Like you can see where that's a bit black there. Look, so we'll have to fill in that hole. Um, and there's just little nooks and crannies around where yeah we filled that in that's new because we picked it off because we were trying to figure out how best to line the bottom but yeah so if you buy a sail away that's got the insulation just be meticulous with nooks and crannies of making sure that you insulate in around all of the metal before you start to batten it so let me just go so this is the other side that we've done already. So you can see that we've battened it. So the batten against the metal will stop the air getting to it. But then we've literally insulated. So you can see under there where Stu hasn't insulated yet, that the rust is starting to come down. So we'll have to get in there. But you can see where he's done it all along there. Okay. And even here, look where we've pinned our, these, this has got our electricity wires in. Um, so even where we chipped it back to screw this on, we've insulated all around it so that no air can get to the metal at all because it will start to rust and drip. And then you'll end up, when you line it, which would be like this, it's just a temporary bit of board at the minute, You'll just get damp patches all the way through it and it'll ruin your decor and look horrendous and you'll have to redo it completely. our l-shaped sofa up because we haven't moved it all winter and she thought there was a bit of mold underneath um we've cleaned it but you could see where the mold was and it was covered on that bit but it's also not very strong you can see where it's starting to bow where we've had like um blow up mattresses and stuff and dvds and stuff in there so what we're going to do is take that out and we're going to slat it so that there's enough airflow that gets through to it um, just to try and stop everything getting mouldy. Um, obviously it won't be a problem from now on because the weather's better but uh, need to be prepared for next winter already. Just another one of those jobs.
we've drilled holes in the bottoms of all the walls so we can add vents just to add a bit of ventilation and airflow airflow through the entire bottom part of the boat to stop the mould from coming under the sofa and under the beds and stuff. I wanted to surprise you! <laughs> oh my! Mm. It's all good! It's perfect for me to not bang my I head. know! Oh, Do you like it? Cool. I love it! Do you? Thank you, Mummy! I think Daddy, he did it. Mummy just did all the other stuff.